Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of KXW Voltage. As we start things off with some high flying action with the ever electrifying Megahertz. Megahertz has been on quite the roll as of late in KXW, racking up some big wins, but tonight he has got the returning international superstar known as Bad Bunny. We haven't seen Bad Bunny in the ring in Christ knows how long here in KXW, but he's looking to, to make a winning statement, and against Megahertz, you better be ready to bring your A game. Here he comes now. Millions and millions of streams on Spotify. Thousands of sold out shows around the world. Man is competed at WrestleMania. He's competed in Puerto Rico. It's bad bunny. Don't let the fact that Bad Bunny is just another celebrity wrestler fool you. He is incredible in that ring. He has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the pound-for-pound -pound biggest and toughest superstars out there. He's been in the ring with Brock Lesnar and survived. So Bad Bunny is certainly no one to sneeze at. Is this match about to get set? I'd like to remind you that later tonight, amazing six pack challenge. Number one contenders for the KXW Cruiserweight Championship is Megahertz. Starts things off with a double underhook suplex. Bad Bunny now getting sent into the corner. Megahertz off the ropes. Big boot. Let Bad Bunny know this is his house. Oh, but Bunny with a single leg drop kick, dropping Megahertz. Now Bad Bunny with chops and another single leg drop kick. And now Megahertz with a drop kick of his own. Went for a stomp. Bad Bunny again with that kick. Certainly knows what he's doing in that ring. When all he's doing is the kick. Now kick to the lower back. Bad Bunny now picking up Megahertz. Now Big Hurricanrana. Picking him up once again. Lock up kick to the midsection. Bad Bunny. What a face plant. He's now... The bunny going up top. Big frog splash into the cover. A kick out before a one count. But now looking to roll up. Bad bunny here, megahertz. A count of one. And now two reversing each other. Knee to the face. Now Bad Bunny outsmarting Megahertz with the ring awareness. Now back inside the ring. Megahertz off the ropes. Arm drag from Bad Bunny. Now a knee to the arm. Megahertz getting picked up here. Enziguri flattens him. Now Bad Bunny, big elbow drop from halfway across the ring. And now Bad Bunny, clothesline over the top rope. Now Megahertz laying on the outside as Bad Bunny returns to the top rope. Another elbow drop. Now Megahertz back to his feet. Forearm. Sickening shot. Now Bad Bunny sent into the barricade. And now Megahertz gets back into the ring.
Megahertz taunting to the crowd here. Bad Bunny back in the ring, though. Now kick to the midsection. And Bad Bunny going for that Canadian Destroyer. Now looking to put Megahertz away here. One, two. He does it. Bad Bunny picks up a win in his return to KXW. Bad Bunny looking in phenomenal ring shape, hitting that Canadian Destroyer. Aye, aye. And that was all she wrote for Megahertz. Bad Bunny celebrates. We gotta get ready for our next match. You know, I've been in KXW for six years. For six years, this company has been my home, and I have nothing to show for it. I should have held many championships in KXW in those six years, but I have not had one damn shot at any championship in KXW. Why? Because we need to have the Arn Andersons, the Von Eriks, and now Bruno Sammartino. These old bastards that this company hires because they're names. Give me a break. The only names these guys bring are names for a paycheck in my company. My family built this company, but I have been tossed aside for these posers. Bruno, you were taken out because I want you and people like you out of KXW, and I am gonna take them out. So stay in the retirement home, because if you don't, then the next time the fans see you, we'll be at your funeral. Back to KXW Voltage. We continue things along with the King Harley Race. One of the best professional wrestlers to ever lace up a pair of boots. Seven time NWA heavyweight champion. Former King of the Ring winner. He has been in countless promotions and he has always kicked the hell out of anybody that's gotten in his way in every single one of them. KXW, he's made a few sporadic appearances. He's teamed with the likes of Bruno San Martino. And now he's going solo tonight. And I feel for anybody who's going to be stuck in the ring with him. I've seen, some, I've seen him punch someone's left eye completely into his head. Pretty sure that guy swallowed his own eyeball. Everybody should be bowing down to their king. Antonio, I don't know why he seems to think he's the king. Harley Race damn sure is. As we await Harley's opponent here tonight. Okay, I guess I take back everything I said. Harley Race may be an icon and an ass kicker, but Marcus Kong is a monster, a beast, a destroyer. This is definitely going to be a hard-hitting match for damn sure. It's been a while since we've seen Marcus Kong. He's out competing all over the world. But he's back in KXW here tonight. Ready to take on all comers. Harley Race pacing around the ring, getting ready to fight. That is exactly what this match is going to be. It's going to be a fight. Later on tonight, our main event, Six Pack Challenge, Cruiserweight title contender. That is going to be an amazing contest. I'm sure Oliver Ronan will be watching that very closely. Here we go. The bell has rung in a lockup right away. Snapmare from Race into a knee drop. And now Marcus Cog just taking Harley straight out to the outside. And now Harley saying, oh yeah, kid, you want to fight now? Super kick from Race. And now dropping Kong down. <coughs> Excuse me. Marcus Kong sent into the turnbuckle. Harley now with a big punch. Another punch. 
Marcus getting the foot up. And now has Harley up. In the power bomb position drops him down into an elbow. But Harley back to his feet. Big stiff punch. And now Marcus back up. And now Harley with an elbow. I'm looking to get some shots in. Another big punch there. Down goes Kong into a cover. And only a one count. Oh, shit! Spear! Marcus Cog laying out Harley Race with a spear. Came out of nowhere like a freight train. A luva kick in the corner. And now Marcus stomping on the face of Harley. Overhand shot to the head. And now rolling him over into the cover. Not enough to keep Harley down. Kick out before a count can start. Now Harley gets off the shoulders of Kong. Chop block. And now a knee. Running knee from Harley. The stiff shots from Harley. Now in control here. And now another running knee. Harley Race showing Marcus Kong, who's boss. Now up on the top. And now Harley diving headbutt missed on the outside. And Marcus just taking that big boot of his and side swiping. Harley Race. Insecurity. And now Harley gets a knee from Marcus. As now both both men enter the ring. Got him by the goose on Marcus Kong of military press. Power slam into the cover. It's still not enough to keep down Harley Race. Marcus picks him up. Big Uranagi into the cover. And that's it. Marcus Kong making quick work of Harley Race. Harley still proving, however, he still has the dog left inside him. But Marcus Kong showing exactly why he is a dominant force. And KXW. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, with another match. Now making his way down to the ring, another newcomer to the KXW locker room, Joe Thomas. Now, Joe Thomas is too formal. Looking at this twig, I'm gonna call him Joe Schmo. Get the hell with that Joe Thomas crap. This guy looks like if you put action figures into a blender and drank it as a protein smoothie. There ain't no protein in there. It's not enough meat on them bones. I wonder if you kick him in the dick, he spontaneously combusts. He just explodes. He's too damn skinny. His opponent... His opponent tonight, however, the Chosen King. The self-proclaimed Chosen King. We saw the real King, Harley Race, early. This man likes to think he's the King. Someone who has been trying to climb the ladder of success. He wants to, he says this year he wants to win 
The KXW World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, so do a lot of people. But Sir Joe Schmo in the ring wants to do it too. Antonio's going to break him in half tonight. And I'm not that big of a fan of Antonio, but he's going to break Joe Schmo in half. Apparently I'm going to get text from the people in the back to stop calling him Joe Schmo. No, I'm not going to stop calling him Joe Schmo. He's Joe Schmo, damn it! Unless he could prove to me otherwise with a birth certificate, he is Joe Schmo. Antonio, last competing in Crossfire, I believe, against Chris Danger. I'm looking to, to break out. This be his year. He's a former Cruiserweight champion. But vows for that world title this year. But I'm unsure if he can make that happen. I'll buy him more of a contender than Joe Smoke. Stop! Texting me, Garrett. I'm not gonna quit calling him Joe Schmau. Don't make me tell your mother that you're texting me. And here we go. Susan about to ring the bell. Start things off. Lock up here. And Antonio just planting Schmo down. A kick to the midsection. Okay, well that theory's tested. Snap suplex, almost dropping him, dropping him on the head. Antonio making quick work already of Joe Schmo. A lock up. Oh wait a second here. Shamoa has Antonio on the ropes. You've got to be kidding me. you got to be kidding me, Joe Schmo. Holy Spinoli. He just did a tope move. Joe Schmo with the lockup. But Antonio's got him back up. That didn't last very long. And now a lock up. Antonio. That eight town down. And now Schmo throwing Antonio back inside the ring. It's just standing there like a putz. Of course it. Whoa! <laughs> Antonio went to do a dive and Schmo just stood there. Easy target, but then he just said, whoop! He just moved. Antonio, Canadian destroyer on the outside of the ring. Just throwing Joe into the rig barricade. As Antonio tries to get back outside the ring, Susan's stopping him. And now a lock up. Now Schmo! Sending him into the barricade. And now Joe Schmo, the waist lock. And now Antonio finally gets Joe Schmo back inside the ring. <laughs> and now Antonio DDT. And now Antonio! <laughs> and Joe, Joe Schmo will punch you! <laughs> oh my god! Antonio, Antonio missed a dive, but then Joe Schmo took advantage. Suplex on the outside from Joe Schmo. And a clothesline, down he goes. This is amazing. And now a lockup. The crowd here at ringside laughing along with me. A zigzag and into the ring goes Joe Schmo 
Flora, springboard Flora takes down the Chosen King into the cover. My goodness, this can't be. Two, Antonio, he kicks out at two. Forearm. We all know the history of Antonio and underestimating his opponents. The history with Marvin, perhaps. Perhaps we all underestimated Joe Schmo here. Roll up! Or a roll through, and Antonio now with the boots straight to the freaking face. And now Antonio with the chin lock. Like a side effect of sorts. And now Antonio. King's Cutter! We're gonna go for the pin here. One, two, no, Schmo kicks out at two. And now Antonio with a slap to the back of the head, kick to the midsection. And another suplex there, cover. And Joe, oh, he kicks out at one. As Antonio now with a punch. The wings of a king into the cover. Joe Schmo with the kick at two. They caught him with a DDT and busted Antonio open into a cover here. And then another one. Wings of a king. One, two. Joe Schmo with another kick out. And now working over the legs. Antonio getting furious. Gonna do another round of elbows to the leg. Boom! Joe Schmo in trouble here. And now he's working on the arms. Just stomping on the hand. And now into the cover. And still not enough to keep down the man. There's that stomp on the head. An elbow drop to the back of the head. Joe Schmo on the outside. Oh, please, for heaven's sakes, don't try it again! He nails it! Third time's always a charm. Puts caution to the wind, and this time it pays off. And now Antonio setting Joe back inside the ring. Going for the cover. One, two. <laughs> Antonio getting real frustrated here. Wings of a king. One, two, three. Antonio picks up a win over Joe Schmo. I'll tell you what. This was one of the most fun experiences I've ever had on commentary. Holy shit. What a resilient little bastard Joe Schmo is. What a win for Antonio. Back here on Voltage as we continue things along with more singles action. It's coming down to the ring right now. The musically inclined Elias. It has been a daggum minute since we've seen Elias. I believe the last time we saw Elias was back in 2018. An outbreak. 
I remember him roughing it around with Cody Rhodes and, and Austin Aries. And those bastards for the Outbreak Hardcore title. But I believe that was the last time we saw Elias in a KXW ring. Man's out here trying to prove a point. <laughs> Look at that guitar. Hope it doesn't get smashed over somebody's head here tonight. I was born a sinner, and that's how I'm gonna die. So when I drive. Here comes his opponent. Speaking of making statements and proving points. Andrew Blackwell on the last episode would face off one-on-one -on -one against Bruno Sammartino in a match that was a very hard-hitting contest. The two men traded moves back and forth, but it was experience that outdid youth. As Andrew Blackwell went for a spear. Bruno got his knees up, which knocked Blackwell out. It caused Bruno San Martino to pick up the pin pinfall victory. Later in the show, Blackwell would attack Bruno on his way out of the arena. And uh, just earlier tonight, Andrew would say that he's sick and tired of these old timers taking spots from people who built this company. Of course, referring to his legendary family. Saying Bruno doesn't back off the next time the fans will see him is at his funeral. Andrew Blackwell not messing around. The question is, is he focused enough to get a win tonight? As the fans chanting walk with Elias here. As the bell rings, lock up Blackwell has Elias up. And just dropping his head on that top turnbuckle. Stomping away in the corner. Now slamming Elias down. Blackwell stomping away. Very foul mood here tonight. There's a slam down right there. Blackwell went for a knee, but Elias moved out of the way. A big clothesline. Excuse me, as Elias now applying some uh, nice head torquing maneuvers there. Man's an elbow drop. And now Elias working over the hand, stomping on it. And another big, massive elbow drop. I'll try to. Pick up Blackwell, perhaps going for a suplex. Gets it. Now going for a cover. Blackwell kicking out of one. Not in the mood to be dealing with the shenanigans of Elias. But Elias gets it. Another suplex right there. Blackwell back up to his feet. Now tossing Elias over that top rope. And now going to... To pick him up and drop him straight down onto that apron. That's the hardest part of the ring, don't you know? It's Blackwell with a clothesline shot to the outside. Now throwing Blackwell into the ring is Elias. <laughs> and just for Elias to get clothesline back over the top rope. At a count of one, Elias gets back inside the ring. Elias now takes Blackwell down. Lock up. Elias has, er, Elias in the arms of Blackwell fights out of the hold. And a boot takes down Blackwell. Big massive boot. Now Elias with a DDT. Heading up to the top rope. 
A big elbow drop. Elias coming in hard and heavy with these elbows, but Blackwell with the roll up here. Elias just managing to kick out, and boom! Blackwell with the boot. A neck breaker. Now Blackwell has Elias out on that ring apron. Now Elias just getting to his feet now. Now Rams. Elias into that barricade on the outside of Susan with the count. As Blackwell tosses Elias back inside the ring, Elias stirred to his feet. But Elias catches him, went for the drift away, but Blackwell went for a boot and missed. And Elias now with the clothesline. Now going for the cover. Quite a sequence of events that just took place as Blackwell kicks out a two. Now Elias, a shot to the chest. Elias now picking up Blackwell, perhaps going to go for the drift away. No back body drop into the pin. Kick out. Elias still fights on in this match. Now a waist lock, Elias with an elbow. An uppercut. Elias, DDT, plants Blackwell. Now stomps away on that elbow. Elias now stomping away on the wrist and hand again. Picks Andrew up on the shoulders, but Blackwell fights him off. Went for a chop there, but Elias ducks it into a punch. And a one count again for Elias. Blackwell refusing to stay down. And now Elias using his strength to pull Blackwell back inside the ring. Now Elias once again up on that top turnbuckle. Meteora straight from the top rope. And Elias stalking his prey here. Kick to the midsection. Blackwell again reverses the attempt at a drift away with a clothesline. And now Blackwell... Shattered wings. A two count for Blackwell. Went for a clothesline, but Elias caught him. There's that DDT. And now Elias with the knee drop straight to the arm. The bicep. Now Elias just rubbing the face of Blackwell into the mat. Elias stomping away hard there. Now picking up Blackwell. Another massive punch drops him down. And now Elias kicked to the midsection. Drift away into the cover. One, two, Blackwell with the kick out. Elias finally managing to hit the drift away. 
But Blackwell can kick out. And Elias, big clothesline into the corner. Taunting away, going to play a little air guitar here. But Blackwell back to his feet and a double drop kick. Knee drop. We're looking to punish Elias. Blackwell with a tiny corner taunt there. Grabbing Elias by the neck. And that thick shot. This didn't get the job done against San Martino. Will it work against Elias? There's a big spear. One, two, no! Elias with that kick out. Blackwell heads back up top. Big fucking splash straight from the top rope. Crushing the start of Blackwell gonna go for another spear here. Nails it. Into the cover. One, two, three. Andrew Blackwell picking up a massive victory here against Elias. Elias, though, getting it a drift away right there. Two spears for takedown. Elias. <coughs> Massive win for Andrew Blackwell. You gotta wonder what's going through the mind of Bruno San Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on KXW Voltage. And now, making his way down to the ring, the big, nasty Leviathan. Making his first ever appearance in KXW. Brick shithouse of a man beast. This person has been in the ring with some of the best talent. In the history of the business, John Cena, Randy Orton, he's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Brock Lesnar. And now he's here in KXW. He's an absolute tank of a competitor. He's got another tank. Juice Alexander, the man who will face AJ Jenkins for the Kojko title and Misery Business. And here comes Jenkins now. A lot of eyes have been on Juice Alexander since his debut. I believe I called Juice Alexander Jenkins. Oops. Either way, Alexander has been making waves since his debut, and now he's got a shot. The coach got title lined up for him at Misery Business. A big match for this man. We saw him take the fight to Ilya Dragunov just last week to become the official number one contender. And I'm damn sure that at Misery Business, him and AJ Jenkins are going to have a barn burner. Possible match of the year candidate.
still to come later tonight. Six pack challenge, cruiserweight title contender. Oliver Ronan in the back watching that tonight. As Susan rings the bell, here we go. Titans about to collide. As Juice Alexander with a big punch to Leviathan. Now Leviathan getting in some shots of his own. Now got him in a bear hug position. Just wrenching on him. Juice with the elbows to the head. And the bell clap. And the big clothesline takes down Leviathan. It's Juice now using those big high kicks. And now with the big shot to the face, slamming Leviathan's face down into the canvas. Juice Alexander now stomping away on the shoulders. Locking in a claw hold here. And Leviathan sweeps the legs. The German suplex almost sends Alexander outside of the ring. Now Leviathan neck breaker. Now rubbing the face of Alexander into the mat. Big elbow. And now Leviathan, big power bomb. Going to pick him up now. Now Alexander dragged to the ropes. Leviathan, those forearms to the shoulders. And now just slamming him down head first into the mat. And now picking up Alexander and just tossing him around like a rag doll. And now stomps on the shoulder into the cover. But Juice with the kick out at one. Matthias had big knee straight to the head. And now he's flexing off those muscles there. Lock up Leviathan. Picking up Alexander. Dropping him face first on that top turnbuckle. And now Alexander. The underhook DDT. Now picking up Leviathan here. I'm looking to put him in a submission hold. Just wrenching the power out of Leviathan. But still enough fight left in him. Leviathan sends Alexander into the ropes, but... Oh! Big clothesline from Juice. But Leviathan... Not one to be messed with. There's a neck breaker there. And another one. Perhaps Leviathan showing AJ Jenkins that Juice Alexander is nothing but a fool. Big sit out power bomb from Leviathan now going for the cover. And Alexander with the kick out at two. And Leviathan furious here. Stomping away on the body of Alexander. Now Alexander back up to his feet, clothesline on the outside of the ring. Now Alexander with a, a submission hold on the outside of the ring. Got to make him tap inside the ring to be able to win the match here. Trying to weaken the Leviathan here. But an elbow to the face. Oh! Big back elbow. Takes down Leviathan. The kicks to the face. Susan at a count of five. And now a lockup. Leviathan sent into the barricade at a count of seven. These two men gotta get back inside the ring. 
Oh, a lock up. Leviathan with the strength to press Alexander down, but he's back up to his feet already. DDT drops Leviathan into the cover. Still not enough to put him away as he kicks out at two. As Leviathan gets stomped out by Alexander. Went for that submission again, but Leviathan two steps ahead with the reversal. Now Leviathan in the corner there. Went for something there, but Alexander caught him into an STO. Alexander stomping away on that arm. Knee straight to the face now. As Alexander takes it to the big monster Leviathan. Now showing his strength to get another slam. Down goes Alexander. Now the punch to the head. Slams Alexander down on the ring apron. Juice still has some fight left inside him. As now Leviathan slams him down on the on the ring apron. Face first two. Back inside the ring, Leviathan. Perhaps getting ready to put the finishing touches on this match. Kick to the midsection. Going for the sit-up powerbomb again. Nails it. But Leviathan struggling to get to his feet here. Now dragging Alexander into the middle of the ring. Going for the cover. One. Two. Alexander still. The heart of a lion. Fighting on, catching Leviathan into that underhook DDT again. And still a kick out. And now Juice, stomp to the lower back. And now Juice. Back in control, Leviathan down. And now Juice looking to go for the spear here. Boom! Spear! Juice Alexander with the cover. One, two, and a kick out. Leviathan rolling out to the outside of the ring. Stirring to get to his feet. And Juice, Plotcha! To the outside, takes out Leviathan. And now stomping away once again. Juice Alexander... Still in control of this match. Hasn't been able to put Leviathan away yet. Throws him back inside the ring. As now Juice heads to the top rope. Big honk and elbow to the back. As the knees continue to rain down. Juice now going for the second spear in this match. There it is. Will this put the Leviathan away? One, two, three. Juice Alexander scores a win over the Leviathan. AJ Jenkins had to have been watching that match very closely. We know he's in action again next week. 
Juice Alexander definitely becoming more of a threat to Jenkins as the weeks go on. It's time now for Vixen's action here on Voltage. Is making her KXW debut. It is Aaliyah, the bad and bougie one herself. Aaliyah spent years, years on the independent scene, never really getting a, a big break. But I guess if she wants to change things up and finally make it to the big time here in KXW. a long night. Aaliyah set to take on the current KXW Vixens champion Caroline Swift who has been on a monster ring. 400 plus days. She's cutting very close to Shayna Baszler's reign. She's coming very close to becoming the longest reigning Vixens champion in KXW history. Shayna Baszler is in the 500s. But Caroline Swift coming very close to that record. As Caroline Swift gets ready to walk down to the ring, she will be taking on Chelsea Green for the KXW Vixens Championship at Misery Business. That match is going to be one hell of a contest. We've seen that what Chelsea Green can do. Also still to come later tonight, six pack challenge, number one contenders for the Cruiserweight Championship. Oliver Rome is gonna have his eyes glued to that match. Swift poses in the corner with that Vixen's championship. Many a women have held that championship. Caroline Swift has easily been the most dominant every time she defends that championship. I swear to God, she gets better in the ring. Not saying that she was ever bad in the ring, but my God. She is one of the best champions to ever hold a championship in KSW. Swift taking in the adulation from the KSW faithful. As Aaliyah gets set to take on Swift here. And the bell has rung and here we go. Aaliyah starting off hot. She's trying to take it to the champion, prove a point here. As she bends the arm over the rope. Aaliyah now with the shots to the chest. <coughs> Excuse me. And now Aaliyah with the waist lock to the champion, now dragging her around the ring, set onto the ropes. And Aaliyah now taking control here, going for a cover early. And a one count Swift powers out. And Aaliyah doing some trash talk to Swift and a springboard bulldog from Aaliyah. And now Aaliyah twisting suplex right there. Swift on the outside now. Trying to catch her breath. She wasn't pre Whoa! Tope from Aaliyah, she wasn't prepared for, for this kind of offense from Aaliyah, clearly. It's like the kind of fight Chelsea Green brought, and that's what brought out the mean streak of Green DDT on the outside of the ring from Swift. Now Swift with some high kicks there. Now sent into the barricade. With a count of five, but these women got to get back into the ring at some point. 
as now Swift yanking on that arm. And a count of seven German suplex on the outside. And eight now. Swift sliding back into the ring now as Aaliyah. Joe now Swift with the tope. Payback's a bitch, isn't it? The Swift now with the punches on the outside. And Susan restarts the count. Perhaps Swift getting a little annoyed with the antics of Chelsea Green taking it out on Aaliyah here. Now it's a German under the concrete. Christ almighty. <laughs> and now Aaliyah with the kick. Sends Caroline into the barricade. Now at seven, Aaliyah could pull off an upset here. Count out upset. Swift gets back in the ring. Just narrowly avoids a count out. And now Swift with an arm bar locked in. And now Aaliyah with the punches. And now Swift locking in the guillotine. The guillotine choke. He's got it cinched in on Aaliyah here. Will Aaliyah tap out the strength? Nope. She power bombs or gives Aaliyah, gives Swift a, a spine buster of sorts. As Swift sent off the ropes, they collide into each other. And Aaliyah with a tornado DDT from out of nowhere. Nice counter. And Swift just grabbing the ropes using that ring awareness. And Aaliyah with the stomp. And now Aaliyah bending the leg back, bending the ankle of Swift. And now just pulling on that leg. <clears throat> now Swift on the outside of the ring. Aaliyah gonna brawl with her on the outside. They stare off for a second. And now Swift with the strikes. With the knee straight to the side of the head of Aaliyah, but Aaliyah back up. Well, not most women can take this kind of abuse from Caroline Swift, but it seems to be it seems to be in the favor of Swift here as the elbows to the face. Now to count of four, Caroline Swift with the shots once again. Oh, that knee! And now at a count of five, and now Caroline Swift. Slamming down Aaliyah at a count of six. Seven. Swift again punishing Aaliyah. Swift seems to be losing a bit of her cool here. Is now at a count of eight. Swift slides into the ring. Aaliyah down. Now at nine. And Swift up on the top. Knee drop. And now the count has restarted. Aaliyah and Swift. Back out of German into the barricade. Caroline Swift has snapped here. And now Swift heading up to the top rope. Big elbow straight from the top. And now Aaliyah back out on the outside of the ring and Swoho! Swift just misses the tope. Almost scorpions herself. Big German. And 
My goodness. It's now Aaliyah. Got in a lucky shot there on Swift. Swift with the dodge. Oh, right into the steps, Aaliyah. Aaliyah definitely showing her worth here tonight. Sends Swift into the barricade. And now Caroline Swift. And Aaliyah still brawling on the outside. Perhaps Aaliyah could be in the discussion for a future title shot. And Aaliyah just unloading on Swift into the announce table. Now at a count of five, Aaliyah back inside the ring. And now it's six, but Swift trips up Aaliyah still on the outside. But this time Aaliyah sends Swift back inside the ring. Now both women back in. Aaliyah, neck breaker. And a drop kick to the shoulders. Now Aaliyah, it's a face buster. Aaliyah in the corner looking for something here. But Caroline Swift cutting her off into a boot to the face, just wiping that boot on the face of Aaliyah. Dragging the, the corpse into the middle of the ring. And now Caroline Swift locking in the guillotine choke once again. Got it locked right in. Caroline Swift doing everything she can to put Aaliyah down here. Aaliyah putting up quite the resilient fight. But no, Aaliyah, the slam, slamming her down. And Aaliyah with a big springboard crossbody. And now Aaliyah with a jumping DDT into the cover. And Swift with the kick out. Speaking of Vixen's action, next week our Vixen's Tag Team Champions New Game Plus will be in action as Aaliyah gets slammed down. Or as Swift gets slammed down. My bad. And now Aaliyah heading up to the top. Big splash! Now picking up Swift here. The shot to the face. And a leg sweep. Into a submission. Will this be enough for Aaliyah to pull off an upset here? Swift though. Still fighting Aaliyah off. And now Aaliyah sent into the corner. Swift now. Grabbing Aaliyah by the legs. Slams her down. Now Aaliyah getting out of the apron. And a tackle takes her off the apron. Back to the outside. These two go. Now the takedown. This is... This feels like it's getting more personal for Swift as we go. Swift has an arm bar cinched in on the outside. Aaliyah with the punches. Asusa just got a two count there. And now... Aaliyah with the stop on the arm. Now picking up 
Swift slamming her down. And a count of seven again. These two women. She's going back and forth. Eight. And Swift breaks the count now at a nine. But Swift on a mission. <laughs> As I said earlier this match, it feels like Caroline Swift has snapped. She has lost it here. This is a completely different side to Caroline Swift that we're used to seeing. And this isn't a Terry Funk rules match, by the way. This is your standard wrestling match. But both of these women are beating the hell out of each other. There's a Leo with the waist lock. And that jumping DDT once again plants the champion into a cover. And Swift with the kick out. Aaliyah getting frustrated here. How can you blame her? Now on the top rope. Big clothesline. <coughs> Aaliyah. Now picking up Swift. The kick to the back. Look for that jumping DDT again. Caroline now on the comeback trail. And now, the high kick from Swift. Springboard knee straight to the face. And now a cover. No. Aaliyah still fighting on. And Swift went through the... She's got the guillotine locked in again. The third guillotine choke in this match. Deep. Deeply applied here. On Aaliyah. She's fought it off twice before. Can she do it again? Or will she tap Aaliyah? Still resilient. Still has gas in the tank. Against Swift Springboard crossbody. Aaliyah off the ropes. Big knee drop. Showing her athleticism. And stomping on the arm. And now Aaliyah. With the shots to the face to the Vixen's champion. Aaliyah getting a little bit jazzed up here. Now kick to the midsection. Off the ropes. Neck breaker. Aaliyah. Stomping on that elbow. Caroline Swift in a bad way here. As Aaliyah heads to the top. Big leg drop from the heavens. But Swift back to her feet. Jumping DDT. Caught once again. Swift covered here. To Aaliyah. With a massive upset. Caroline Swift. Some sort of switch flipped inside the mind of Caroline Swift. And I believe that was a hindrance here. She spent too much time focusing on kicking the ass of Aaliyah instead of winning the match. She locked in the guillotine, but Aaliyah outperformed it three times. What an impressive win for Aaliyah. Upset win. When we are back here on Voltage. Continue thinking so long with the Boogeyman. The Boogeyman, one of the most bizarre, outlandish, and downright creepy individuals in professional wrestling and KXW in general. Boogeyman's been competing here for quite some time. Tonight he takes on Spud, another unique individual. Jesus, those flames. 
Boogeyman making his way down to the ring. Boogeyman has had some matches, some high profile matches against the likes of Johnny Knoxville, Maeve Deltzer, Spaz throughout his KXW run. Never quite reaching the top level of success. Almost became 24 7 champion. But the Boogeyman has yet to reach any sort of championship gold. Although he wants to. I'm surprised nobody's just laid down in front of the Boogeyman. I mean, look at the guy. The Boogeyman's such a twisted individual. Here comes his opponent, Spud. Seeing him for the first time since his uh, last man standing match with Birdman. Spud looking to turn over a new leaf in KSW. If anybody saw, he's uh, part of that KSW comic series. A beautiful uh, sign of himself made. Now, uh, a spud looking to tie up with the boogeyman here. The pick up a win. But will spud be successful here? And will the boogeyman pick up a high profile win? That is the question. match a start still to come later tonight six pack challenge cruiserweight title contender going to be an awesome match and here we go boogeyman out the gate with a big freaking clothesline now stomping away on spud but spud back to his feet and they both went for a high and low combination spud off the ropes missed a clothesline boogeyman with a waist lock and now Spud collides into Boogeyman lockup here. And now Boogeyman has Spud by the neck, has him on the ropes. And Spud now tried to kick, but Boogeyman clotheslines Spud over the top rope. And now Spud finally getting some kicks in on the Boogeyman. And a leg sweep there. And now Spud with a unique... Flipping maneuver there. And now Spud stomps away on the hand. Picks up the boogeyman now. Sends him inside the ring. Spud now stalking his prey. Boogeyman coming outside the ring as Spud gets the high kicks. And now snap suplex to the boogeyman on the outside of the ring. And now inside goes the boogeyman. Spud now looking to take things to a new level as the boogeyman almost takes Spud down. But Spud has boogeyman in the corner. Elbow. Now stomping away. And Spud... Jumping over the top rope, that leg drop. And now Boogeyman back up to his feet. Stops Spud from going for a springboard. Now Spud off the ropes and a big clothesline. Dex. Spud. Now with the kick to the thigh. Spud. On the outside of the ring here. Boogeyman tossing him back inside the ring. Now going for a cover. One. No. Spud with the kick out. And there the punch down goes Spud. And another punch. Boogeyman in control. The boogie splash. And now Spud slowly getting to his feet. Flatliner into the cover. Susan. One, 
Toodle. No, Boogeyman. Able to kick out of that. Boogeyman just gets out of the way of the drop kick, hits his own. Now Boogeyman got him by the throat. Double handed choke slam into that cover. Two. And Spud with the kick out. Now Boogeyman taking control of the crowd chanting fight forever. Spud gets the boot up. A lock up Boogeyman off the ropes. And they collide into each other. Spud. Now dragging Boogeyman around. Has him on the ropes. Boogeyman with an elbow. And a shot to the back. Takes Spud down to a knee. This time Spud with a kick to the midsection. Holy shit! Spud with a unique move there. Now getting Boogeyman up. Kick to the midsection. And a shot right there. Cover. And Bookie Man with the kick out. Boogie Man now slowly getting to his feet on the apron. And the tackle takes him down. And now sends Boogie Man back in. Now Boogie Man with the waist lock shot to the back. Went for a body splash there. Spud with the neck breaker. It's now Spud. Looking to go for something here. Whoa! Flipping seated senton cover. Two. And Boogeyman kicks out. But Boogeyman with an elbow there. Big clothesline takes down Spud. And Boogie gonna do his jiggle. Now off the ropes, Boogie Splash. But Spud nips up. And now Boogie Man going for the good old fashioned Boogie Slam. Picking Spud back up. And now into the double handed choke slam. One, two, Three, the Boogeyman picks up a victory here on Voltage. Boogeyman's track record in KXW isn't, uh, isn't really that massive, but uh, he gets a victory tonight over Spud. Perhaps Things are looking up for the Boogeyman. Ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time here. Six pack challenge, number one contenders match. The KXW Cruiserweight Championship. I'm just receiving word that there has been a last minute replacement in this match as Thunder Theo was not medically cleared to compete tonight unsure why but uh, was told the replacement will come out tonight and I, it's not here on my notes but trust me I'll know who it is the Trick Williams the first of the six men to walk out here tonight of course, the rules of this match are simple. Pinfall, submission, both apply. This is elimination. So we're gonna be going until the last man is standing here tonight. And the last man standing will be who faces Oliver Ronan for the cruiserweight title at Misery Business. Here we go with another competitor in this match. The ever popular, the ever hyped up. Party feet. 
Man is shucking and jiving. Always got an upbeat attitude. The Prince of Party Mania. I mean, just look at him. He is full of energy. Definitely somebody who I believe will win this match. Future champion for damn sure. Party P destined for greatness in KXW. And I think winning this six pack challenge here tonight will do it. But Trick Williams is a, it's a very tough task for most individuals. Party Pete getting the crowd riled up here. I wonder what's going through the mind of Oliver Ronan. He has been cruiserweight champion, yeah, cruiserweight champion since defeating Logan Paul for the title. Here comes another new cover, PJ Storm. Last time we saw him, he was defeating Tommy Dreamer here in this very arena. PJ Storm would like nothing more than to become number one contender for Oliver Ronan's title. But will he be successful in achieving that? We shall find out. The storm makes his way down to the ring right now. The immaculate athleticism. The Dark Horse fan favorite to win this match. Now we await the, the next competitor in this match. And here comes Blaze Kush, straight from your local dispensary. Somebody else who's been chopping at the bit to win their first singles title here. He has had chances to become number one contender before, but has never been able to officially cross that threshold. He looks to finally break that streak here tonight. Blaze Kush, definitely one of the most beloved superstars in KXW. Blaze Kush now, taunts in the corner, stroking his little mustache, the very thin dust mustache that is on his face. The amount of talent that has come out in this match so far is astounding. Another groundbreaking athlete on his way down to the ring, making his KXW debut, I believe, Nathan Frazier. Now, when you think high flying, death defying action, you think of Nathan Frazier. The man can do things that just shouldn't be humanly possible. Nathan Frazier's just one hell of an athlete. I mean, just look at his entrance, for goodness sakes. This man is the future of cruiserweight wrestling. Or just high-flying wrestling in general. Well, this must have been who replaced Thunder Theo. 
It's the first time we've seen this man in a number of months. It's Uncle Howdy. Uncle Howdy officially making his return to KXW. Looking to earn himself a title shot. Good Miss gracious. Uncle Howdy. A dark, demented individual. Slowly making his way down to the ring. Looking at each one of the competitors. Thinking what he can do in this match. Looking that slow walk. I mean, look at this man. Look at the aura that he possesses. He is just a spooky, spooky man. The protege of Bray Wyatt. Uncle Howdy. Just... I'm getting chills over here. Can't imagine what's going through the minds of the as he places the hat down right in front of Party Pete. Stops Party Pete in his tracks. This is gonna be one hell of a match. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Six pack challenge, cruiserweight title contender. Here we go. Already Uncle Howdy going at Blaze Kush. Belly to belly, already trying to eliminate him. And no, Trick Williams stomping away at the leg of PJ Storm. Pardon me if this is going to be one hell of a match. Trick Williams and Uncle Howdy going at it. Party Pete helping out. This is going to test the limits of my commentary. What a night of action we've had tonight. This is our electrifying main event. Showing off some of the best cruiserweights in KXW is Uncle Howdy with the headbutt. You gotta wonder now knowing who's replaced Thunder Theo if Uncle Howdy had anything to do with it. Is PJ Storm with the cover? Uncle Howdy kicks out of one party. Pete now has a kendo stick. That's right, all weapons legal in this match is Howdy Dex Pete. And now Blaze Kush going underneath the bottom rope, going to grab himself a chair. The plunder is out now. As Nathan Frazier with a hurricanrana to Uncle Howdy. And now PJ Storm. The GTS German combo on Frazier. Uncle Howdy now the sole person on the inside of the ring. Watching the chaos happen inside the ring. Now Uncle Howdy just staring at his opponents. Getting dragged by PJ Storm. Trick Williams on the outside as Blaze Kush working over Party Pete. Nathan Frazier backstabber to PJ Storm. And Blaze Kush sent right the hell out of the ring. As Party Pete with a, with a party time to Uncle Howdy. PJ Storm, big high kick to Trick Williams. Now Blaze Cush and Nathan Frazier on the outside of the ring. It's Party Pete alone in the ring with Trick Williams. And now Blaze Cush has a kendo stick. And Uncle Howdy. Just being demented. In every which way. It's Party Pete now slamming the chair. On top of Trick Williams. So Uncle Howdy gets sent into the barricade by Storm. Party Pete now. Big slam. Now looking to eliminate Trick Williams here. Two. No Williams survives. It's now Party Pete heads up to the top rope. Uncle Howdy just... Almost like a man possessed. Well, I mean, Uncle Howdy is a man possessed. Nice catch by Williams in the ring to Party Pete. And now Trick Williams, big Uranagi as PJ Storm enters the ring. 
And Party Pete with the kick out at two. Uncle Howdy now with the kendo stick again, but gets drop kicked by Nathan Frazier. It's now PJ Storm and Party Pete alone in the ring. Running Bulldog to the arm from Storm. And another power bomb from Uncle Howdy. And now Uncle Howdy getting beaten up in the ring and Blaze with the with the nose of Nathan Frazier. It's PJ Storm, Eye of the Storm, into the cover. And no, Party Pete still kicks out. Remember, this is elimination rules. So we're here until the last man is standing. Uncle Howdy sends Frazier into the barricade. Trick Williams just going to work on Blaze Cush. Party Pete, kill switch there. On to PJ Storm into the cover. And no, Storm with the kick out. Uncle Howdy with the clothesline to Frazier. Now Party Pete has PJ Storm in the ring. And now PJ Storm on the ropes. Party Pete dropping him head first as Trick Williams and Uncle Howdy taunting at each other. Big shoulder tackle from Party Pete in the cover and PJ Storm still alive here Nathan Frazier with that big Eric Arata. now PJ Storm big double foot stomp flipping Party Pete inside out as he goes up top Uncle Howdy tossed inside the ring 450 avoided by Pete into the drop kick to Uncle Howdy and now Party Pete hits party time into the cover. One, two, PJ Storm survives and Uncle Howdy turns his attention to Party Pete. As Frazier, Cush, and Williams on the outside. Sister Abigail to Party Pete. Uncle Howdy eliminates Party Pete from this match. And now a mandible claw locked in. On PJ Storm could be looking to take care of the both of them here. Uncle Howdy taunting at PJ Storm. Second sister Abigail. Uncle Howdy now with the cover. One, two. PJ Storm kicks out, almost eliminating both Party Pete and PJ Storm. But Party Pete is your first elimination at the hands of Uncle Howdy. PJ Storm sent back outside the ring. And now Howdy with the spear to Nathan Frazier. Now Blaze Cush slamming Uncle Howdy's head into the ring mat outside. And now PJ Storm with a stop sign. And a back rake from Blaze Cush. Uncle Howdy picks up Trick Williams and slams him down. As Nathan Frazier and Blaze Cush go at it. And now Howdy picks up Williams and slams him down onto the chair. Blaze Cush working over the leg of PJ Storm and Uncle Howdy. Now turning his attention back to PJ Storm. Nathan Frazier sent into the ring by Blaze. Now Blaze Cush and Uncle Howdy working together. A bit of high and low action. Big clothesline takes out Nathan Frazier. It's now Uncle Howdy has Blaze Cush up. Shoulder breaker. Driving him right down. And now PJ Storm. Now tying it up with Nathan Frazier. Uncle Howdy and Frazier sent into the ring. Now Howdy 
Looking to take advantage. We know Party Pete was the first eliminated here in this match. And now Uncle Howdy with the elbows to Nathan Frazier. Now waiting for Nathan Frazier to get up. Sister Abigail. PJ Storm tossed into the ring. Howdy looking to pin Frazier here. One, two. Nathan Frazier with a kick out. Uncle Howdy getting restless here as PJ Storm. The Frankensteiner pinned to Uncle Howdy here. One. No, Howdy still survives. It's Nathan Frazier with the Spanish fly to PJ Storm. And now a cover PJ Storm. And down. And Nathan Frazier eliminates PJ Storm as Uncle Howdy grabs a freaking ladder. And smashes Trick Williams in it. With it. We're down to three. I believe. No, that's not math. We're down to four. Howdy, Trick Williams, Blaze Cush, and Nathan Frazier. It's Uncle Howdy Slam face first onto that ring apron. Nathan Frazier. The neck breaker suplex combination. The drop kick to Blaze Cush and Trick Williams. Comes outside, Uncle Howdy sent back into the ring. And taunting away. Snap suplex to trick on the outside as Nathan Frazier and Blaze Cush come into the ring. Spine buster by Blaze to Uncle Howdy. And a two count. Nathan Frazier into the corner. And now Blaze Cush with a running clothesline. Into a super kick from Frazier, my god! And now Trick Williams going for the cover on Howdy, but Nathan Frazier, a little too frustrated, wants to take out Howdy himself, apparently. Nathan Frazier now to Hurricanrana. As now Frazier heads to the top. What a friggin' maneuver! Howdy moved, but the height on that was. Fucking ridiculous. Suplex from Howdy is trick with the kendo stick. Uranagi from H Howdy. And now Howdy getting decked with the kendo stick here. And now Trick hits a, gets a sister Abigail from Uncle Howdy here. Now going for the cover. One, two, three. Trick Williams eliminated by Uncle Howdy. Now we're down to three. It's Nathan Frazier, Blaze Cush, and Uncle Howdy all fighting for a chance to face Oliver Ronan and Misery Business for the Cruiserweight title. Enziguri takes out Blaze, and now Uncle Howdy with the Mandible Claw! The Mandible Claw locked into the pin to Nathan Frazier with the kick out. And now Uncle Howdy picks up Frazier. Sister Abigail into the cover. One, two, still Frazier holds on. And now Blaze Cush with the lock up to Howdy, but Howdy. Belly to belly to Blaze into the cover. And still not enough. And now Uncle Howdy with the kendo stick. Puts it down, and Nathan Frazier gets put into a sleeper hold by Howdy here. Looking to put this one away for Nathan Frazier. Just smothering the face and throat of Frazier, but Frazier able to get out. Oh, and Blaze right there with the kendo stick to Howdy. And now, waist lock from Howdy to Blaze. Sends Blaze into the corner. And Nathan Frazier with the Hurricanrana to Howdy. Howdy underneath the bottom rope now. 
It's Nathan Frazier and Blaze Cush on that top rope. What the hell is Frazier doing? Holy shit! Nathan Frazier up on that top rope. Big suplex into a neck breaker. Cover to Blaze here as Howdy grabs a table. Blaze Cush kicks out. What a sequence of events. We're down to the final three in this six pack challenge. Shot at Oliver Ronan and Misery Business hangs in the balance. Now Blaze sent outside the ring. Fights off Uncle Howdy on the ring apron and takes him down with a kick. Cover. And Uncle Howdy still hanging on. They thought it was going to be Thunder Theo, but he was attacked backstage or, or something not medically cleared. It's obvious that Uncle Howdy took advantage of a vulnerable Thunder Theo. And now he's in this match as Blaze Kush. 420 splash. One, two, three. Uncle Howdy eliminated down to Blaze and Frazier. This Blaze with a springboard kick. Now Blaze Cush with the moonwalk here. Blaze has been fighting his entire run in KXW for a shot at the title. Never been able to get it. Nathan Frazier snaps suplex. Blaze Cush in the final two. Along with Nathan Frazier. Oliver Ronan must be watching this match. Scoping out who he's going to face. The misery business. Oh! Nathan Frazier went for a standing shooting star. But Blaze got the knees up. And now, Blaze Cush sending Frazier into the ring. And now picking him up. Sending him into the corner. But Frazier catches him. That flatliner into the corner. And now Blaze moves. Flipping Nathan inside out. And Blaze Cush with the kendo stick. Went to smack Frazier with it, but he didn't, he wasn't successful. As now Nathan Frazier heads to the top rope. Once again, the massive height into the cover. One, two, three. Nathan Frazier with the win. Blaze Cush still not able to become the number one contender. Uncle Howdy, although the late addition did have a hell of a run in this match, it was Blaze Kush who would eliminate Howdy with the 420 splash. And Blaze Kush came ever so close to being the contender, but Nathan Frazier would pick up the win. What a main event. And we will see you tomorrow for Aftershock.